A lot has changed in just a single year because we have this. This car collection was acquired in just one year of YouTube and uh, I'm feeling like Adam LZ or like very budget Adam LZ. <laughs> but today we're gonna go over each and every car that us as the channel have been able to acquire and tell you everything wrong and the uh, future plans as well as some secret future plans if you wait till the end for 2024. Let's dive in. <laughs> We'll start off first with my 2019 Volkswagen GTI. I have owned this car before we had the channel, but we sort of inducted it into the channel when we did some modification to it. Let me, let me pop the hood for you. There you go. As you can see, we have this beautiful carbon fiber intake from APR because this car has a full suite of APR parts. It started life out as just obviously a stock car. I've owned it pretty much since new. And uh, we threw on some APR wheels, an APR exhaust, a tune. This car is actually probably the most uh, reliable vehicle in our fleet of cars. Yeah. Actually, most certainly the most reliable and also potentially the fastest in a straight line, which sounds ridiculous, but it is, it kind of hauls actually with the yeah. tunes. So it makes like over 300 horsepower. It doesn't weigh really all that much, but this car sadly is the only car that's probably going away soon. This is going to likely get upgraded for something else uh, that you'll see coming very soon in 2024. I need a new daily because this thing's gonna go. And uh, I think we're gonna replace it with something far faster and far more interesting. I do love this car though. It's treated me quite well. It's got the speaker package, the uh, all the leather interior, as much leather as you can get on a budget car. <laughs> Honestly, so. these things are so nice to be in with the, yeah, the dual clutch and the fender audio. It's just a, it's just a good daily. This thing is really, if you're, if you're looking for a car and you want something that's kind of sporty, but also reliable and also usable every day, it's really hard to beat a GTI. The interior is super high quality compared to the competition at the same price point. And honestly, this car, I, I really have no reason to get rid of it besides the fact that I just kind of want to try something new. Uh, otherwise, I would probably just keep this car until it starts to become incredibly unreliable. But I put 60,000 miles on it and no major problems yet. <laughs> I can definitely recommend it. And uh, if you look early in the channel, there are some pretty funny videos of this car when there was nothing else to be filmed. Video goes underappreciated. This car raced across New York City against my friend on a bike as well as my other friend on the subway. So. Yeah. We have got some fun with this car, you know? <laughs> Next up, the Ford Raptor. This is a 2011 Ford 2012. Raptor? 2012. Ah, see, I don't even know because it's technically Will's car, but this is a 2012 Ford Raptor in a uh, dirt spec as it should be. This thing is the newest acquisition to our fleet of cars. It's also sort of the workhorse of the fleet because if we need to tow something, this is the only thing that can tow it. Um, it's maybe not the best tow rig in the world, but it's the best tow rig that we have and we love it. This thing has uh, the awesome gigantic V8. It's got the 6.2, not the 5.4. This, this is the good Raptor, it's the one well you want. Off. First gen, by the way, is definitely the coolest of Raptors. I don't know if you agree with us, but that is just the truth of the matter. This thing is sweet, come check it out. It's got aftermarket, very bright headlights. It's got Oh, it's got locked door syndrome. <laughs> the interior's very dirty on it right now. Yeah, yeah, it, me and Will's dailies are incredibly disgusting. Yeah. This thing is honestly really comfortable too. It's a bit different than the GTI, but as a daily, this is Will's car that he drives every day. And Will, how is it? I mean. Uh, it's a good daily. Uh, right now it does, it does have a few problems, uh, as do all of our cars. Uh, the brake caliper back here, it goes <laughs> and stays on all the time, which I ordered a new one. Um, it gets about eight miles per gallon and it costs $170 to fill it up. So basically all the money I have, I spent on gas and uh, the, the big loud tires are big and loud, but it has CarPlay, aftermarket head unit. It's got a nice big sub in the back, upgraded speakers. So at least, at least I can enjoy some music while I'm drowning out the noise of a Brad Bray California big tires. But it's fast, it's fun, it looks really cool, and they can off-road, so, you know. If you saw the first video of this car, we actually do have some big plans for this car in 2024. We want to do uh, quite a lot of modification to this. I'm sure you, uh, you know where that's gonna go in the direction that it's probably headed, but we have some stuff coming for it. Uh, and I think you're gonna like it. If you're into trucks, this thing's already cool. And if you're not into trucks, this is a great introduction to the truck world. We are not really truck people. Literally not truck people at all. So. Yeah, it took us maybe 
15 minutes to figure out how to park the truck in here like this. <laughs> so we're really not very good with trucks, but this thing is sweet. It's actually shockingly fast for how large it is. And uh, it absorbs bumps, but I think we can make it absorb bumps a little bit better with some modification. More on that later. <laughs> yeah, more coming on that soon. Next car. Sticking with the off-road theme, we'll jump over to our Safari 911, which, you know, it's like picking favorite children, but this one's my favorite. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, I like this car. <laughs> I have a big emotional attachment to this car. It was my dad's dream car. Um, he was never able to get one. Passed away from cancer. Sadly, if you saw the video last week, that we kind of talked about the whole story yeah. of this car. But yeah, yeah, very cool. It's it's so cool. It's wrapped Ruby Star, which is a color that I love. It's just, I mean, 911 is my favorite car. I've always wanted a 997 GT3 that will maybe not happen in 2024. <laughs> really, you gotta start watching more of these videos, guys, because I want one so bad. Yeah, <laughs> maybe one day we'll be able to get one. That's my real dream car, but this thing is a very close second. I love this thing so much. It's incredibly dirty because it came back from a, uh, well, the truth of the matter is that we just didn't clean it in a long time and it is still dirty from its cross country road trip. In fact, if I open the trunk, I bet we still have tons of stuff from our road trip unsorted. <laughs> We've kind of like <laughs> neglected this car a little bit. Yeah. Since we got back. <laughs> there's some stuff in here. There's, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's hey, an Amazon package. Oh, hey. There's Heelys in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> These are dead stock. <laughs> Almost, bro. VNDS. Hit me up if you want those. Um, this thing is sweet. So we did a ton of modification to this car. Got a lift kit. Uh, it's got KC lights. These are really cool. We'll be able to show you more of those soon. And um, inside, we've actually done some other modification. If you want to take a look. We have put these beautiful Recaro seats in here. We have all this stuff from Renline and it's really, the car looks awesome. Like no doubt this car looks so cool, but there is a lot of problems that this car has. For example, we have a pre-production lift kit. So there are some things that we're gonna make some adjustments with uh, Eurowise out in North Carolina. It rubs quite a lot right now, which is no one's fault. Uh, we kind of rushed to get it done and that uh, has amounted in some issues. Also, we, we rushed to get it done and then we abused the crap out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this thing is gonna have a full engine rebuild. I'm happy to announce that now in 2024. If you guys have any ideas for anything we should do to make this awesome, this engine is incredibly dirty. There's frayed wires down here. This thing has really seen better days and it's not all our fault. The car does have, when we bought it, like 170,000 miles on it. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely been through the ringer, but we are going to restore this thing properly to its former glory of, it actually far past its former glory. So we have a lot of plans. We're gonna rebuild the motor. We're gonna take care of all the little things that are wrong with it, because trust me, there is a lot of small stuff. The heat doesn't work right now. Oh yeah, the heat And it's 30 work. degrees out. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it hasn't been driven a whole lot because the heater flap in these cars tends to go, so that's gotta get taken care of. But rest assured, this car is gonna be cleaned up. It's gonna be looking beautiful. It deserves a full wash after what it's been through. And after now that it's gone through this cost country trip and all these other videos, we'll start to make adjustments, mess with the motor, and uh, get it really dialed in. So you guys are gonna be seeing that early 2024. I'm super excited about it. It's again, something we've never done. This whole channel is about the fact that me and Will love cars, but it doesn't always mean that we know how to work on cars. So we're kind of just learning to become better car enthusiasts with you guys. If you see me and Will do something and you're like, that doesn't seem right. There's a high chance we did it wrong. So please do let us know. So we're gonna be going through this together. I've never rebuilt a motor before. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> and, uh, I haven't. <laughs> it should be fascinating and I'm excited to do it. And that leads us to our most recent project. This my friends is our Aston Martin V8 Vantage. And it is way too cool for us. <laughs> <laughs> Far beyond our level of car we should have. <laughs> the other cars look natural here. This thing looks incredibly unnatural. It's so like sexy and cool and I don't know, it really is like a supercar, uh, and it has that presence for sure. So we've done a lot to this car and we have uh, a lot more to do to this thing. It's finally working. Uh, it sounds incredible. The exhaust is crazy, although there is a small exhaust leak that we do need to fix. So that's on the list. And uh, the wrap, by the way, the wrap is probably the thing I'm most disappointed in. <laughs> Not at 
all because of the quality of the rap. The rap is actually amazing. Me and Will just The have, film is amazing. Yeah. The rap job. <laughs> we did it, so it sucks. And we've seen in your comments and uh, <laughs> the things like this that you might have noticed. Or the things like that. Yeah. Or, you know, we can go around to the front and show oh, I mean, all of that's bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, you might have noticed some people were commenting about the rap in here. We get it. Yeah, yeah, no, trust me. And the, the real thing is, I want these cars to be done correctly. I want them to be of the highest quality. That's why we're going to go back and do all the stuff to the Porsche. Sometimes when we're in the middle of the series, it's a little tough to uh, get everything done on time and as a perfectionist. And the wrap job is looks great from 10 feet away. Yeah, let me go back here and show you guys. Wow, beautiful Aston yeah. Martin. That's cool, but up close, it definitely has its flaws. And again, no, no problems with the vinyl itself. It was actually pretty easy to work with for first timers. This is quite exceptional for a first time job from what I've heard. But I wouldn't say exceptional, I would say acceptable. Acceptable job for first timers, <laughs> I agree. But it, it, you know, I think we're gonna be able to do better. And the reason that this wrap may change is because we have a really big modification that's never been done on YouTube before. And I think it's, uh, it's gonna be terrifying and fascinating at the same time and really cool. In, in a couple months time, this is gonna be a completely different car, so. I, you might love it, you might hate it, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah. So be ready for that. But this thing is, uh, it's its not even near complete. We have that to do and we have then a few other things to do. And again, there's like an exhaust leak and just some small stuff we need to fix that will get addressed. But this thing is is awesome. It also, oh yeah, a, a theme of a lot of our cars is the doors don't work. So this door doesn't open from the inside. The passenger door on that car doesn't open from the inside. That will get resolved. The rafter back right door doesn't open from the inside either. Yeah. New thing a, I found out. That's the thing that we have. Yeah. That's that. It's also on 15 year old tires. Yeah. That's about to get sorted out. Now, yeah. before any of you ask any more questions, let me address it. <laughs> this car, which you see in the background of so many of our videos, it's like our car but it's not our car. <laughs> this is my roommate Noah's car. He makes fitness content. So if you're into working out, you should check him out. Noah Perlo Fit, uh, mostly on, uh, he's on everything, but TikTok is a big platform for him, YouTube, Instagram, check him out. This is his Porsche 968. And I'm thinking maybe we should do some stuff to it to surprise him at some point. Let me know if you like that it's, in the comments. It needs a little bit of love. This car, uh, this car belonged to his grandfather and his grandfather quite literally signed him the title of the car on his deathbed yeah for no better way to put it so this car means a lot to know but you know he got it when he was like 15 so he, it's uh, crazy he literally done some stuff to it <laughs> he grew up when he was a little kid he grew up sitting in this car shifting gears imagining owning a porsche and then it became his car all those years later and he still owns it and he loves this thing and he put it on some sick wheels it honestly looks so cool this is yeah people always like is that a 944 no, this is a 968, which is actually cooler than a 944. It's like a 944 plus. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's honestly a really cool car. I love this thing. Yeah. And I know you guys see it and you mentioned it in the background, but if you think we should like maybe do some stuff, there's some stuff he's wanted to do to this car and he just hasn't had the time to do it. So if you think we should do that and surprise him, like this video. There are some other plans for 2024. We have a lot of new projects that we wanna work on. We are even bidding on a car as we speak that is supposed to hopefully we win and then it arrives. And then you're gonna be like, why did you buy that? It's literally gonna be the dumbest car we've ever bought. And it's gonna make this thing look like it was a brand new car with a factory warranty. Yeah, there, there's a lot that's gonna happen in 2024 and we're gonna hit the ground running. January 7th, baby, is gonna be the first video of next year. But this year, we are going to do some big things. I think it, I'm just surprised by all the stuff we were able to do this year. Like, look at this. This is not how I ever thought my life was gonna go. And it's really all thanks to you guys. Um, I would not be able to do any of this without you guys watching. And I am so thankful to you guys for watching the videos. I hope that uh, we're having a good time. <laughs> it seems like we're having a good time. But yeah, I think there's a lot we can do. Uh, we're just learning along with you. So if you wanna see something, put it down in the comments. We'll try to make it happen. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because you will not wanna miss 2024. Yeah, you guys have changed our lives so far and uh, it's been the coolest thing either of us have ever done. So. We love you. Yeah, we love Thank you guys. You guys. We, this is a community that we are all part of together. This is not just me and Will, this is all of us. Yeah. This is pretty much our car collection. Yeah. So if you guys ever see us, just take them, drive them. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> no, I mean, hey, well, I don't really care. But. <laughs> I don't care either. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. And uh, yeah, get ready for some crazy stuff. <laughs> Good night.